I'll introduce you to various activities that you can play with your preschoolers or even children from Key Stage 1 using a simple abacus that I'm sure lots of us have at home. Activity number one, start with the basics. And that is as simple as just, you know, counting from 1 to 10, 20, 30 and so on, and then backwards. Abacus is a great tool to introduce children to tens. Start a conversation by saying to the children, OK, how many bits do you think I have here on the abacus? Some of them they will guess it's 100, some of them won't. Um, but then you introduce them to 10, so this is, you know, a 10, 20, 30. And then practice in counting in tens up to 100 and backwards. Abacus is also great to help children to practice the counting in twos and fives. And then equally you can do in threes, fours and so on. So um, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. And then you can do backwards. 20. 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. Number 4. Practice number bonds. So um, teach the children number bonds. So let's say number bond tens, right? So what two numbers put together make 10? Um, they by now know that this is a 10. So use a piece of paper or, you know, you can just hide the numbers, but it's easy if you use a paper. Um, and just say, well, how many bits are behind the paper? How many bits now are behind the paper? So um, do this as quickly as you as, as, as you can because you then are practicing the speed as well as the accuracy. The activity is guess the number. So take some of the bits um, to the right side, let's say, and ask the child to quickly guess the number or give you an estimate. Please discourage them from counting, you know, bit one by one. By now they already can at least count in 10, so that'll be 10, 20. And then, you know, they can only count one by one to begin with, but then encourage them to think like, okay, so you have five bits here and five bits here. So what'll be, you know, the number, or you can say, well, what if we're taking five of the bits from here, put them back, and instead we're moving them from here. What's the number? You know, 10, 20, 30. If I have three, how many more bits do I need to make eight? So abacus is really good to, you know, for, to help them to visualise and practice that. So um, you can start by saying, OK, I have three bits here. How many more bits I need to move to make number eight or to make number nine? You know, and let them use the abacus to do that. Um, the more they practice, the quicker they will be able to do this mentally and, you know, help them kind of deal with those sort of um, exercise much better. Word problems. Lots of children absolutely hate word problems when they start um, learning them in school. So uh, this is a great way to introduce them to word problems, even, you know, to the, even the young ones, um, um, even the ones who just gone to 10 or 20. So it can be as easy as, okay, Rose went to the shop and bought four sweets. Then she decided to buy two more. And here's a conversation with the child that she should have. Well, what does it mean? Do you add two more or take them away and introduce them to different vocabulary that would, you know, would mean um, subtraction or addition um, this way when they go to school and then when they start learning the word problem, they already have heads up and they're already going to find it much easier. If you have any other activities that you would like to show with us, please do so. And don't forget to follow us for more similar content.